So this is a short one because it's one of those, you just kind of have to read it to see if you'd like it or not. The closest thing that I compare it to would be something like Chapter 4 in Human Echo, where overall it's interesting, but there's sections where you wish it would have been shortened, but it has a good payoff at the end. I don't know much about the writer of this one outside of they made some boys love VN before, and that this one wasn't going to be one of those. It still felt like one to me, but I guess just having undertones is a good enough pass for people outside of the genre to give it a try. It's not my first go to one, and honestly it's not 3 for 3 of having some kind of interesting plot, though one of them wasn't really my cup of tea. Though it is the first one I tried expecting something like that. The soundtrack is all over the place, which normally sounds like a negative connotation, but it wasn't messily put together. It just had a diverse selection of tracks. Sometimes a bit too artsy fartsy or on the nose for me, but those are actually rare occurrences. I appreciate the occasional classical track and when to switch it up just to hype other scenes. It also understands when to not put a track at all to make specific scenes just feel stronger. I'm honestly surprised they're not in the extras or even the soundtrack DLC because it's actually pretty decent. I don't have much to talk about for the sprite and artwork. It's just not my field. Yeah, the boys look pretty, but I don't know if the other titles are hitting like a whole other plateau of prettiness. But there's actually nothing really to complain about. I can say that they do convey the mood correctly and I, and I always appreciate a continuously changing title screen, but that's it. So the plot is split in two parts, Fall Down and Downfall. Each have a set of routes for the same characters, and that alone can be kind of annoying or repetitive. And it did get to me at points, but I just went through it because I just wanted to see what was happening next. The routes are kind of meant to be done in order for this first section, so it's Ryo, Tojo, Mori, and Kato. Mainly because Ryo is the best starting point, and he leads to Tojo or Kato well, and Tojo leads to Mori. Though I like dancing with the idea of changing Mori and Tojo's play orders. You lose some novelty to gain something else, though the only one I really liked was Ryo's route. Kato technically has some of the more interesting concepts, but he's honestly kind of annoying, or his ideology is annoying. He's also the best to leave for last in my opinion. You get formally introduced to the central character in the end of Fall Down, but everything worthwhile is in Downfall. The problem with the second set of routes is that a lot of them are pretty toxic, and I'll talk about that later. It can also be said that they're kind of repetitive and the same. The second set of routes can be taken in any order. And when you have the chance to choose for the third set, pick the second and then the fourth out the first completion. You can do the others if you want, but they're really not that interesting by comparison. This is one of the VNs that surprise you more the less you read. It's still fun to go through and it's subtle enough to not be blatant, but also it isn't pulling anything from their ass, at least for the most part. And I'm sure there's at least something that can surprise you. All in all, I give it a 7 plus 1 if you don't mind some of the rest like I did. It was a fun read and I'm looking forward to the sequel. Hopefully it cools off from the vocal tracks trying to make you feel something when the scene was written well enough to support itself. The Mamiya sections were my favorite alongside the Protag's struggle against them. And I also had a soft spot for the librarian even though she wasn't all that important. So for the spoiler section nitpicks, they're really not all that important. Like the initial sets have an annoying 3 or 4 liner at the end of it from the spectator. It's the same in each one, it felt like something that I'd read from a Neil Breen movie. That could have been something just put at the end after you read all four, because you already have like this one intermission between Downfall and Fall Down anyway. The same issue happens in the second set of routes, but it's done better. Even though it's the same lines, it's trying to hammer a few points, but the most prevalent is just about asking what happens after the happy ending and closing to their respective stories. So I mentioned the toxic relationships before in the second set of routes, where it just made me feel like I was reading some kind of young adults novel sold primarily to like Twilight people. It was generally just making the pro tag as this outload of some sort of abuse to save the other ones. It's more of a personal nitpick, I'm, I'm just not part of the demographic. Mori has the least going on, even though it's kind of a good subject. I felt like he needed a few more pages of dialogue to cement some more in the story. But I guess that also makes sense how he's trying to be a loner anyway, so... It's a weird word dynamic where it's one of those things 
that it, it makes sense in context, but just reading it is kind of boring that way. So while Mori doesn't have a lot, I think Ryo has a lot of shit going on. I feel like he's more of the poster boy for this one, even though Mami is the most interesting of the bunch. I feel like both Toma and Nagaki should have more scenes added to them, and a better thought out connection between the two groups. Because I felt like it hit really hard because I chose Ari Sugawa first. And that was a really cool reveal on how he's connected to Ryo. I felt like the routes shouldn't be required. Or not all the routes should be required. Maybe just two of them. Sure, you might miss something, but a lot of them is kind of repetitive. Because each of the endings just hit the same point. It's like, thanks, this is a new subject, but the ending's the same. The spectator doesn't need four of the same endings. He, he should understand just by one or two of them. But you know, maybe this is one of those things where they all matter in the end in the sequel. 